In this video, we'll cover what a Zero Trust Security Model is, its seven core principles, and why it's the best solution for modern work environments. The classic layered security approach just isn't cutting it anymore. In the past, organizations placed digital assets within their network's core, and workers could simply log in via their devices in the office. Hackers had to penetrate firewalls, VPNs, anti-malware, domain access, and more before getting inside the proverbial castle. The problem is, workers now access systems, applications, and digital assets from multiple operating systems, both on and off-premise. Such widespread access has made it easier than ever to infiltrate networks. Zero Trust is the solution to improving security posture in the new environment. So what exactly is the Zero Trust security model? Zero Trust is a framework that assumes any user or device accessing a network or application should not be trusted by default, regardless of whether they are within the network perimeter or outside of it. The Zero Trust security model requires continuous verification of identity, device, and context before granting admission to limited privileges. Admins can employ a combination of strategies like multi-factor authentication, micro-segmentation, network segmentation, and access control policies to reduce attack surfaces and protect digital assets. Now let's take a closer look at Zero Trust Security's seven core principles. One, verify every user. Authenticate and authorize users before granting access to any resource regardless of identity or location. Implement multi-factor authentication on critical systems, applications, and day-to-day -day workstations. Two, contextualize access. Consider a user's location, device, and behavior to determine their level of access and to detect anomalies. Three, limit access. Only grant access to the minimum required resources users need to complete the job at hand. 4. Employ password complexity. Leverage strict password policies and SSH keys when possible. 5. Assume breach. Assume attackers may have already compromised the network and implement measures to detect and respond to security threats in real time. 6. Encrypt everything. Use encryption to protect data in transit and at rest to ensure it remains safe in the event of a breach. 7. Monitor everything. Monitor and log all networks and user activity for rapid detection and response. As you can see, Zero Trust security models improve security posture and help protect against cybersecurity threats like phishing attacks, malware, and insider threats. But there are other key benefits of Zero Trust as well, such as 1. Improved visibility. Zero Trust security models provide granular visibility and control over network traffic and user activity. This allows organizations to detect and respond to threats faster. 2. Increased productivity. Employees who are empowered to securely access resources from anywhere at any time are more likely to work at ideal times. Increasing work-life balance has shown to significantly increase productivity and worker satisfaction. 3. Compliance adherence. Zero Trust helps organizations check off many common regulatory standards for data protection. 4. Lowered costs. Security breaches cost organizations hundreds of millions of dollars annually. Putting Zero Trust into action reduces the associated risk of expensive legal fees, fines, and lost revenue. At this point, you may be thinking, that all sounds great, but how long does it take to get up and running with Zero Trust? The obnoxiously paradoxical answer is anywhere from a few hours to several years. The more complex systems you have in place, the more time you will likely spend transitioning away from old security systems towards the new model. It's important to remember that Zero Trust is a framework of best practices, so there isn't a set number of actions you can take to become Zero Trust official. Use a toolkit like the Jump Cloud Directory platform and you can employ password management, multi-factor authentication, patch management and conditional access policies fairly quickly. Click on the link in the description to begin demystifying your Zero Trust journey.